Good morning everybody, welcome back to Subsistence, 90 days, normal mode, uh, beautiful sunrise again. I was just having a look around outside here following our recent attacks in the pitch black to see what we could do to avoid that happening in the future. And um, your suggestion was to put some kind of a light tower out the front here to illuminate all of this area by extending the BCU. Now we, we have just extended the BCU a little bit, so I was wondering, if I can get it past here, whether lights on these rocks here, on the top there, might be within range of that BCU. And if so, how I could actually get a floodlight up there. And it seemed to me that I, I used that foundation to place the walls. I could use that foundation kind of buried into the rock there, just to place a little quarter vertical wall and put one of these ordinary lights on it uh, or I could use a light on a pole which doesn't need to be on any kind of a building piece uh, so I think we might look into that today uh, but first as usual <laughs> uh, we need to do some looting and I need to check on the looters roost situation um, because I can't remember <laughs> <laughs> it's been a been a while. Um, played a few different games, as you may have noticed, and um, I need to just remind myself what the situation is. Let's uh, not miss the opportunity to get some more iron. Um, we also need uh, well, not desperately. I've got some, but I need more planks uh, because I want to try and change the wall around a little bit. Something I learnt, oh chickens, I need you. Uh, something I learnt a few years ago playing, of all games, believe it or not, Age of Empires. Um, if you can't stop the enemy uh, by putting a wall up, you know, they just destroy it or go around it or whatever, then the best thing to do is to make, um, for lack of a better description, a funnel. So you invite them to go down a certain route, and of course you're in charge of that route, uh, so you can set traps. Um, that was my plan. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have maybe used my refined water. Alright, we've got some more. Uh, also, you correctly pointed out that I do not need to use purified water on these. You can use any water. And as we're right next to a lake, and water is free, um, I actually don't need to light the fire all the time in order to boil water. But what we were doing in the, certainly the early stages, um, ooh, that's full. Uh, I was boiling the, uh, running the fire in order to get ash because we were very, very short of any form of um, fertilizer. So, yeah, that's kind of kind of why I was doing that. Right, let's just fill that one back up ready. Okay, and you are level 6 I think I saw. You've got loads of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, that's the only ash I've got now because we're getting through it. And obviously two plant beds, we need more. So let this veg grow and then hopefully I'll have a bit of a store of it and then we can we can get on with getting back to two chickens but for now I'll just leave that one level six one there there's a chicken I'd really like that chicken I really don't want that wolf uh, it looks like he's gonna come after us anyway fine run away wolf yeah, if I shoot the chicken, it's just going to die. So let, let's see if we can find one that I can chase. Ooh, carrot. Lovely. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to just uh, haphazardly gather some wood while I'm out about today. And um, what I hope to do today as another wolf, um, as the mass builds up, is we'll convert it into some form of spotlights. And then we'll have a go and see whether we can make some kind of a lighted frontage. And as I say, I think maybe uh, there's, a, there's a term for it, and I can't remember what the term is, where you channel the enemy choke point. That's the word. There. 
Uh, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, you construct a choke point where all the enemy are forced into a um, smaller area instead of being spread out or in our case running about all over the place. You force them into an area which you control. So I thought we might be able to do that by moving the walls that we currently have into uh, more like a funnel shape. And um, we can floodlight that, that area, that funnel shape. Do I want a chicken? How badly do I want a chicken? Ooh, come on, chicken, stop running. Oh! <laughs> Tricky little suckers. Uh, nearly got it. And we've attracted the attention of all the wildlife in the area. Another one, good lord. Yeah, so that's my plan. I'm going to try and adapt my wall a little bit to make a choke point, floodlight the choke point, and um, that to be in an area which I can see, uh, I can hit anything that enters it, and if it's a light, it can floodlight it. And it should, if it works, it should make our life a lot easier. Zinc on that one, but I don't really want that. That's a level one, but there's a blooming wolf between me and it. Oh, I put his head down at the wrong time. And the crate up there as well. Yeah, still always going for the headshot. Try and get that red crosshair. And the, uh, no, scared it off anyway. Uh, the sort of the crack sound that it makes when you get the headshot. And if done right, with a level one, uh, you can actually get the kill. But if you do what I did and you time it wrong, and you don't get the headshot, then uh, Gia just runs away and the once they're spooked, they're even harder to get close to, so... Oh, okay, won't be having that then. Turn around a bit. You didn't see me. Yeah, so that deer's actually walking back up towards us now. But I'd have to shoot it from a very long way up. Well, I get it while it was on the run. Andy, <laughs> so it impaled itself in the tree, but it's not actually in the tree. It's a bit weird. I don't mind having my arrow back, thank you very much. Oh. That deer is going to end up at Charlie, so no hope of getting it. I'll try it from here, I don't think I'll get it, but... No, it turned to the left. And we... Oh, we do have a lockpick. Ah, excellent. Didn't think I had <laughs> forgotten. Two cotton seeds. Yay. And two ingots, which is also very nice. And five sinew. That's a nice crate. I'll take it. If I can carry it. Uh, yeah. One spare slot. Nice. Deer is still wandering back towards us, but it is getting dangerously close to enemy territory. We could possibly wait. It might walk a bit closer to us, but I'd have to get the kill on the next shot. And I think it's probably going to stop directly behind this tree. It's also getting very close to us.
There we go. So you just got to get it that that headshot, and um, you got to time it so that its head is going to be up when you're arrogant there. And just a lot of practice. Oh, I had a feeling that might happen. So we can eat that. That gives us some. What else have we got here? Fat. Antlers is probably the most useful. Fat. Antlers. Uh, so some fats and liver. Uh, one of those. Make some of that. And if I can find one more uh, fibre, we can pick that one back up as well. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. And I know I can eat the liver, but um, kind of don't really want to. And then shotgun's full, can't do anything with that. And we don't have any planks. Ooh. Kind of need everything, but I suppose what I could do is I'm not desperate for those. So I'd rather have the feather than a medicinal plant, and we'll leave the uh, one fibre there. Uh, do we have another loot crate around here, I think? Oh, there we are, there's a fibre. Ah, uh, we'll leave it. Not worth, not worth the hassle. Yeah, I thought I saw an ammo crate, maybe I picked it up already. Right, so let's get this loot back. And um, as I say, I was kind of hoping to get a load of wood to make some planks, but I'm going to have to make the planks last because I haven't got a spare slot for wood and planks. So. I think that's iron on there. got iron so I'm doing that yeah with the wood I've got to make sure that number is divisible by three before I start converting to planks because uh, I don't have anywhere to store them I end up popping all the way back to base and build a crate up there so this tree and one more tree, that will give us a round number, or number divisible by three. Because three four log trees are twelve. It's an easy way to remember it. So yeah, so we get ten planks out of that, that would be a good start. can't take up that spare slot, obviously we need that for the planks, and there's a plank, that's handy. Perfect. I love it when the plank comes together. So, that's quite good, if it's only midday, and we have a full inventory, admittedly, a lot great help that. Um, but yeah, that's that's nice. Get the looting done early, gives the rest of the day to be able to do things, such as crafting things. Couldn't work out better. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow something, possibly an interior light or something, um, just so that I can see where the bubble extends to. Ooh, that's iron too. And... Um, Depending on where it goes will depend on whether we have to build another BCU extender or whether we can get away with doing something on the rocks there maybe. To be honest this light here is not in the most useful place. 
So we could just perhaps move that one. But let's empty all this out first. Obviously, and that yeah, we did quite well on ammo that time, didn't we? Actually, let's go upstairs. Uh, got quite a lot of ammo. Oh, let's go in the other one. And that goes in there. That goes upstairs, so does that. Okay. That's in there, that's in there, that's in there. Thank you. I'm going to do it then. So, yeah, two more cotton seeds, that's brilliant. I'm really happy about that. Uh, we didn't drop those down, did we? I say so the sinew is nice. I don't obviously don't actually need it in this game. I'm able to get plenty myself, but um, for reasons of you know like early game stuff, uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm, um, you know that would be a lovely lock rate right, to get early game. So. Very nice. Uh, right, let's... I know I can't attach this one, but let's use this one just to see where the bubble extends to. Uh, kind of cuts sh this short of rock, doesn't it? So, yeah, this is our second bubble. That's, that's the first bubble there. This is our second bubble. Doesn't quite go far enough. Which is a shame. I think we'd need this to face, like down, sort of down our wall, really, wouldn't we? So to employ that idea, I would have to make another BCU extender. But put that there. That's going to kind of face direction and it's going to face out there which is an area that we lose them in so that actually might help just moving that to there now the problem is switching it on and off that's as high as I can get that one um, so we are going to need a switch Where would we put the switch? I suppose it would have to be on our fighting wall here, somewhere. So let's do that. You can guarantee I'm going to make one, and the next ba base raid I do, they're going to give us one. You can just, I just know that's going to happen. So we can certainly make one, ingot and one circuit board. <coughs> Light on a pole is the other possibility, but I think it's still got to be within your bubble. So the only other way of doing that is yet another PC range extender. Um, you know, which we can do. Uh, I can do that now. Actually, that's not that expensive. The question is, where do we put it? Because we want to obviously it wants to be fairly safe. Uh, let's get this light switch built. Two and an ingot. Yeah, that will use up that bit of mass anyway. But at least it means uh, if we do get attacked, I can switch the light on, which I couldn't or can't do currently. So that seems logical. Make another one of those because that pick isn't worth keeping.
Is it? I think the logical place, because I'm fighting from here. I don't want to put it on an outside wall because it can take damage there, but I think if we just pop it somewhere there, it should be kind of hidden enough not to take damage. And it means I can switch a light on that covers that tree down the bottom there. That's definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, so, for another extender, we need 80 mass. We're on 22. So, we can leave that to build for a minute. Uh, take those and all those, some of those. Come on, thank you. And some of those, just in case. And yeah, so I don't know if you get the idea of what I was thinking of, but at the moment we've blocked them off completely. So what they're tending to do now is they're butting up against this, seeing it as an obstacle, and actually deliberately trying to target it and damage it. So my idea is to bring, to allow them to come in uh, to a point where maybe they're close enough, they're happy, but in a place where we can control what, you know, what, what's going on. So let me just correct this. Oh, that was silly. side. Yeah, this piece here, um, I don't like that. It's just too big a gap, so I just want to get out of the way for a minute. I was finding it quite difficult to judge where it was, so um, what I noticed was we have like that position there and then I brought it up kind of a little bit from that one so the bottom of it should be that much above and that's a half one so we want it that much above that one and bend it round like that hopefully that will be a little bit better positioned And then this one, mm, not sure the best place to bring it from, but I think maybe somewhere around there. The trouble is they are going to get below this this rock, and I can't shoot them from below that rock. Yeah. Not a lot I can do about that, really, is there? So what we're doing is we're showing them the way in, essentially. Um, right, this one, we want to kind of curl down a little bit. You can see the edge of it. Where's the edge gone? There. Lose a bit of height because the ground falls away. Leave a bit of a gap. So hopefully they'll run in here uh, to attack and then they're going to try going home there and they can't get through there so they're going to get stuck. That's my plan. I think I'll have another one of those.
Oh, cougar approaching. Just heard the panting. It's like I recognise that sound. That's a cougar. Um. So we definitely need at least one more. Um, and the the other reason for doing this is anybody that comes around the back of the rocks, like from Charlie, which is what they've been doing, they'll either find their way out here or they'll get stuck here. That's kind of my hope. But we definitely need to just curl this round another one. Just to... Um, sorry, it's going a bit dark now. Nearly done. to just try and stop them from going any further up. Make sure we get that kind of lined up. And then we can just use the foundation on the end here just to make sure they don't bypass the, the end. So I can get through there, it's a tight fit, but I'm pretty sure the hunters won't be able to. So the plan is they're going to see that as getting close to my base, so they're going to run into here to attack my base, up there. And then they're going to try to go home and get stuck. That's my plan. We'll see whether it works or not, soon enough. We can get, it, get over there. Okay, sorry about the dark, i get some lights on now. Do that one. So yeah, the floodlight then, if we switch the floodlight on currently, that's illuminating, although I can't really shoot it from here, that's illuminating our little track trap down there. Um, it would kind of be ideal to have a window here, wouldn't it? We're gonna have to redesign all of this a little bit. We've only got a half that's a half one in there, so I can't put a window in the end. But, uh, well, one step at a time. Uh, right, so on with the next bit. We haven't quite got enough mass yet, so we do need another circuit board. So we might as well make that while we don't have enough mass. Put those away now, I think. Jenny's on. Top them up in a second. And then we'll, we'll put that on. It's a bit of a waste, I know, but it, either that or we're going to be sitting here waiting all night. Um, I can recycle some stuff. We've got loads of nails, I've got kelp. You know, we could recycle things, but uh, I'd kind of rather keep that for something more important. Um, what else is there? What else can we do while we're waiting? there just in case we run into trouble so that's all good to go I'm freezing let's go and sit by the fire a minute probably needs topping up anyway <laughs> yeah it needs topping up anyway just caught it lovely and we are going to need a decent meal Aha. Get one of those cooking ready. Uh, yeah, so I've given a fair bit of thought to the best way of doing this because obviously hunters in this game, um, they operate differently. <laughs> the, the AI is completely different to a lot of other games. But I do think some kind of a choke point is definitely the way forward. Uh, it's just a case of the design and, and getting it right. I think if you get it right, it would be brilliant. But until you get it right, it's probably going to fail miserably. 
So the only way to, to figure that out is to make one, to try it and to see how you get on. So that's what I'm planning. I'm carrying all that around with me. I do need some more arrows. Right, I'm going to wait the night out. Uh, so I can't do much more at the moment, waiting for that mast to build and um, my dinner to cook. But uh, I'm going to bring you back in the morning, not expecting any attacks tonight. So I'll see you when it gets light. Welcome back everybody. Another beautiful sunrise. Can't get over how pretty they are. So clouds uh, look okay. I think we'll be alright. It should be a dry day. It's still a cold at the moment as you can tell. But I'm not worried about my protein because I haven't eaten anything yet so I haven't got any. Um, I've made the BCU extender which is on my hotbar at the moment and I've stolen this little quarter panel from downstairs. So I've just put it there in preparation. Um, now, what I thought we could do is, depending on where the bubble is, yeah, it's not quite far. I was going to kind of put it on that this side of that rock over there, but I think the other, yeah, the other bubble does extend over there, so that's an ideal place for it, I think. Um, but I need to go and get that foundation. So before I do that, and while the day warms up a little bit. Let me just have my breakfast. Ah, one breakfast. Definitely prepared. That looks a bit better. So the fire should be fine. Now, I've made a spare circuit board because after making the um, thingy, <laughs> the uh, extender, PCU extender, I had exactly 15 mass left. So it seemed logical just to make another circuit board. Um, we will always use it somewhere. That's oh yeah, can't run that far with that. Uh, to do this in stages, uh, I'm just going to dump it there for a minute. Now I need it. Where do we need it exactly? Kind of on the top of that rock looking down here, I think. Although to be fair the hunters will be on the other side of the rock. So maybe angled slightly out. Might be a good idea. But it's getting there that's going to be the fun bit. Um, let me pop that there a second. Hopefully we can reach it. Now I'm hoping I'll still be able to reach the legs. Ooh, it's kind of difficult to judge the angle, isn't it? But what I want to do is just to get it as close to there as I can. Maybe that might be a bit too close. Okay, let's try that again. just going to snap now, isn't it? Just to be really annoying. Yeah, I just want it to be angled slightly out so that we can... just get away with that, I think. Ooh. That coup is a bit close. Hmm. She's going to be a bit of a nuisance, isn't she, while I'm out building? I do not want her jumping up on me while I'm trying to place a 
building piece. bit difficult because she was higher than me but I was confident I could uh, sort of aim up a bit to take her out. Right, uh, okay, I have to wash my hands and yeah it's quite difficult to get back through there but uh, I'm not, it's not a route I'm planning on taking a lot so right, uh, I'm gonna put this meat away Okay, as you will. Um, yeah, I'm kind of hoping. Mind you, it's the light that's going there, isn't it? So we really need. Uh, it might be okay, but I think it needs to come out from the rock a bit further. We'll try it. We can always move it. Get yeah, on the rock. say we can always move it. We might not actually be able to get older than that, but yeah, we'll see. So if the light is facing straight out from there, it's going to kind of cut down here, isn't it? But it does splay out a little bit. There is a, a, a fan to it. So I think we're going to have to try that. Um, I don't need the foundation there anymore. I didn't want it to be floating. I, I absolutely hate floating things that, that break logic. So I wanted to make sure that um, you know, whatever we put there is actually on something and, and looks sensible. Let's put this back where it was. second. Uh, oh, there's a board there we can borrow, so I just need to borrow a foundation from... Hmm. Let's grab that first. Sorry, it's very difficult to kind of do this and commentate and narrate at the same time, so uh, uh, you'll have to bear with me, I'm afraid. Oh, can't get in the door if I do it there. Uh, I'll do Square foundation. I think that's a foundation. Yeah. yeah. I should have done this while I had the other foundation with me, but I forgot. I think it actually matters. You know, it doesn't have to be connected to what we're doing. So I think if we just put it stick it out a little bit just to make sure we can attach it. So, yeah, we just stick that out of the way somewhere. Uh, somewhere where it actually looks like it's attached to something. It's kind of 
being awkward, isn't it? Come around there. Right, let's put our base back together. There we go. So yeah, what that should do is give us a big enough bubble to be able to put spotlights. If necessary, we can move that further out and just involve a little bit of scaffolding while I finagle it into place. But we'll see how a light goes from there. I think that will give us good coverage around that area. So the only dark spot we've got then is this tree here. And I think we can get around that possibly with a light on a pole. Um, maybe from over here somewhere just sticking up there so that will give us much much better coverage at night I think uh, ok while I'm thinking about it let's just repair that piece the else probably isn't enough is it and grab some water and um, see what time of day it is as to whether we can get on with anything good yeah so you see what I mean it's not actually on the rock as you know but it it looks like it's on the rock so um, that that role-playing wise for me that's fine I'm happy with that and um, right let's go and see if we can make a light So it's normal flood line, we need 70, we got 63, that's that's easily done. Loads of power now. So uh, one, six and five. And one of those. Yeah, these these lights on poles you don't need to put those on any form of building piece. You can put them directly on a rock, or at least you certainly used to be able to. Um, so we can use those to fill in the gaps. Oh, we've got to get uh, snow, didn't we? Okay, so let's see. Actually, we might need to borrow a foundation just to put this in place, but... be able to tell where its area of coverage is in daylight. Probably not, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll have to try it when it's dark, but with that one covering kind of down this way, that one covering down that way, I think the most we're going to need is one somewhere around maybe back here, kind of, because it's on a pole, it stands up proud, and that'll cover that area over there I think that might work quite well uh, so thank you for the suggestion I usually concentrate on putting floodlights around the base and uh, it's rare I actually think to sort of extend them out and get them away from the base but yeah that's a, that's a good one so we'll see how that one goes thank you very much right still forgot to get snow so let's just uh, we need that one as well okay or that one from now. Fill these two. Ooh, hello, wolf. Oh, 
cotton's nearly ready. Turn those off for now at least. Right, there's not much of the day left. We've spent all day messing around with lights. And um, tomorrow, I think, is attack day again. Now, what I'm hoping tomorrow is we'll get at least one attack off either Alpha or Bravo early in the morning. I've said this before, you know all this. Early in the morning and uh, kill them all outside our base. And then we'll go and raid their larder and see if uh, see if they've got any goodies for us. Um, and again, if if it works out well and the, the day comes to us in a, a lucky way, then uh, what I might do is actually do both bases. Nice. Uh, Alpha and Bravo again. We'll do another double hit, but you have to fall quite lucky for that to work. Um, because of the timing, of course, and I remember last time I used grenades, uh, or at least one grenade on each base to, to cut down on the amount of time it takes. Uh, so, yeah, grenades are really useful for, for getting through a door quickly. That uh, fertilizer didn't go very far, did it? they've got water. Uh, ooh, somebody's fishing. Sounded like it was over there. Oh, no, there. There he is. It's so tempting to headshot them. I mean, not with a bow and arrow, but I've got the rifle. Can't actually see him. Oh, is that him crouched down there, I think? Yeah, that's him there. It would be so easy to headshot him. <laughs> uh, nope. Must resist the temptation. Pretty sure that's Charlie. The way direction he's walking, anyway. So we don't really need to attract any attention from Charlie, do we? Uh, okay, so you're kind of a... I suppose we could top your water up, it's free, isn't it? You're okay on veg for now. The fisherman has gone, so we should be okay, barring any other fisherman coming down. And uh, you're all nearly ready, so just chuck it in there. And you're level 10 tomorrow. Nice. Keeping my ear open for footsteps behind me. <laughs> you never know. And that chicken there. We'll worry about the chickens tomorrow, I think. That, that one will be level 10 and then maybe we'll see what veg we've got. That should also be ready tomorrow. And if there's enough veg and things, we'll get a couple of chickens going again. Or well, maybe some rabbits, actually. Uh, if we've got plenty of eggs and uh, uh, whole chickens, we could put a couple of rabbits in, because they're really good for pooing. Just going to grab a few of these.
Union Wolf. Nice crate sitting up there waiting for me. I can't get it because the wolf's in there. Yeah, I know it's a wolf, but I don't need the meat at the moment, so I kind of don't really want to unnecessarily shoot animals. Wait until I get desperate for biofuel or meat before I do that. And I know there's a bear around here. I think that's another wolf up there. Yeah, there's the bear. Oh, well, at least he waited for me to finish chopping the tree. That was kind of decent of him, wasn't it? Don't need to worry about the cougar just yet. I not have respawned yet. That bear is exactly where I want to go, isn't he? grenade arrows. Wow, okay. I must have uh, shot them after they decided to leave, I think. Where's his bag? Hmm. I was not expecting that. That was a bit of a shock. Uh, I enticed them down here, but they w they didn't go down our choke point, did they? I'll have to uh, keep an eye on that on the next attack. They, they were sort of standing around outside here. They didn't go down there. Maybe that's too narrow for them. to see how that goes on the next one when they're making a more concerted effort and we need to make a window for here I keep forgetting because it's out of sight like you can't see it normally when I'm passing I keep forgetting to do it but that's the last window so we should really do that um, right what am I doing uh, ammo and we need... oh, it's upstairs. So we need one of those, and... oh, I've brought the water up. Heck. Um, that, that, and that, and that, and that goes upstairs as well. That, and that. Um, Still waiting on the mass. Might as well get that purified while we're here, mightn't we? So I don't know if you noticed, but I, I started keeping my rotten meat in the oven because there's a current bug where when you cook something in the oven, even if you don't waste it, you do take it out straight away. When you come back to it later on, there will be rotten meat in there. So by keeping the rotten meat in there, it just automatically stacks, which <laughs> saves me now having to keep emptying it. And I thought that was quite a, a clever idea. Otherwise you're just constantly emptying it. Right, could do with a little bit of food. One of those, that'll keep us going. And we've still got a bit of daylight, so I, I have returned a little bit early. And what I'll do is I'll just run these back down. And otherwise, ooh, like with the grubs, otherwise I will forget. 
I'm going to take the grubs with us this time as well. Why not? Yeah, the sun is uh, about to go down. I think we've just about got time for a quick trip. Assuming nothing goes wrong. Oh, level 10. Very nice. Right, leave those there. You, Mrs. can come with me. And... You're already too. Wow, okay. I didn't expect them to be ready today. I thought that would be a tomorrow job. It's fine by me. Yeah, so I think we've finally got enough tomatoes to be able to do a whole bed. Let me just check what we've got in here first. Yeah, one carrot seed. Two. Um, is there any point in doing... Actually, no. I think what I'm going to do is... I'll take the carrot seed back with me and we'll switch to tomatoes here. Um, I think we've got enough to do all of them, have we? I'd rather do tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes, for, for me, just work a whole hell of a lot better. Uh, but we, seeing as we've got a, a, a carrot anyway, I might as well use that one up this time. So that gives us eight and eight, and you can go in there. Lovely. So that's the chicken sorted out, the plant beds re refurbished, as it were, and the uh, very, very last thing. Yeah, I've got 400 power, so let's kick that, kick that back, I'll get the right thing, kick that back on and um, use that up, charge the mass up, and then if we do need to fill something or upgrade something, then we've always got it. So, yeah, the sun did go down. Okay, what's going on? It is not attack day. Attack day is tomorrow. I don't believe I upset two different camps. I'm not going to take the chance of fighting them in the open, in the dark. Ooh, what are they setting fire to there? First of all, yeah, that tree is definitely an area that we need to cover, isn't it? Okay, I'm not seeing them. Kind of caught a, caught a flash of that one then. Yeah, they're shooting the wall, unfortunately. Yeah, that's Alpha running away. Interesting. So I wonder if if I've miscalculated. Yeah, I must have miscalculated. This has to be Charlie now. I cannot see everything. I just can't see them. So click, click. A horrible sound. I only shot him by the sparks coming off his gun. Well, 
Doc saves me making arrows, that's true. Interesting. So, yeah, I mean, to have that many base attacks, that must have been uh, attack day. I must have miscalculated. I felt sure attack day was tomorrow. So, sorry about that. I uh, kind of missed that one completely, didn't we? But you can see the lights. Yeah, it needs moving out further, I think. It's not covering this bit quite well enough. It's also quite a long way away. It's really dark, I apologise. Um, who the heck did I, did I kill that guy? Oh, there's his body. Then his bag must be. There you go, above it. Yeah, so they did seem to spend quite a lot of time attacking these walls. Um, I think we've actually done too much damage to them, strangely. I could do a bit of a repair. Um, clearly our choke point is not working uh, as well as I was hoping it would. Yeah, that's, that's taken a lot of damage. But strangely, that's the only full wall in that whole wall, and they're damaging that one. I wonder if they're, they're uh, programmed to you know, specifically attack whole walls as a priority. Strange. Anyway, um, I think that's enough fun for one day. And let me just put this... Oh, the chicken died. Let's do that quickly before we lose the resources. Uh, yeah, I can put all this stuff away. And... Where am I keeping those? Uh, went through a fair bit of ammo there for absolutely no reason because I just couldn't hit anything. Um, yes, I'll switch those off now. And chuck that in there, put that in there, and there we go, we're kind of back to where we were. I've got a fuel brick ready for when that runs out. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Uh, I'm a bit taken aback because um, the two days that you saw yesterday and today that I've just played followed on from the last episode where I was really out of kilter uh, because suddenly uh, I was being attacked. So I thought, you know, two days clear now and then attack day tomorrow. Um, but, you know, something's, something's gone squiffy here because suddenly they're attacking me today. So I don't quite know how that works. I'll, I'll review just in case I've missed a day somewhere, but I promise you I haven't skipped any days. So, um... Yeah, that was a bit strange. Yeah, very odd. Unless they were all revenge attacks, which is entirely possible. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed all that. Thank you for all the comments and suggestions, as you can see. I do try to uh, listen and employ the ones that I think are, are workable, such as the floodlights. So, brilliant. Take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.